quadratic function um, of the form with coefficient c0, with coefficient c0, c1, and c2 with these four data points. Notice the x values are 0, 1, 2, 3, and the y values are negative 6, 0, negative 8, negative 10. And so that's what these represent. This first one is the sum of all the x values. So first of all, we have four uh, data points. And so n is going to become 4. That's what goes here. Then if we add up all the x's, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, that makes this 6. And this is the same thing, so this is 6. Then if we add up all the x's after we square them, that gives us 0 plus 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. So 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 14. So this is going to be 14, and this is going to be 14. And then if we cube them, I did it down here, we end up with 36. And then um, the squareds was 14, the cubes was 36, and the fourths was 98. And so then I did the same with the y's. I added up all the y's, which is negative 6 plus 0 plus negative 8 plus negative 10, which made that, we see it down here, negative 24. So this is a negative 24 in this spot. And then we want each y times its x, which we did here, which gives us negative 46. And then we want each y times its x squared, this didn't translate very well. That's supposed to be a 0 squared, a 1 squared. This is supposed to be 2 squared. This is 1 squared. This is 0 squared. Sorry, it didn't translate well. And this is 3 squared. So that makes 0 plus 1. Um, 2 squared is 4. So this makes a negative 32. And 3 squared is 9. So that makes this a minus 90. And that gives us uh, negative 122. So now you have this matrix. It would be wise to divide everything by 2 first. So you have easier numbers to work with. This is 2, this is 3, this is 7. Here's my coefficients. And then that's going to, we got to remember to divide everything by 2. So that's going to make this negative 12. Um, this is going to be divided by 2. You get 3, 7, 18. And this is negative 23. Divide everything here by 2 and get 7, 18. 49, and this ends up being negative 61. And then if your teacher will let you, you can put that into your calculator's matrix solver or solve the system of equation using matrices. And that will take a long time and lots of paper. But in the end, you get that C0 is... negative 5, while C1 becomes 4, and C2 is negative 2. And 
I verified this on my calculator's uh, statistics menu, and these are the correct answers.